guys, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I had to rush through breakfast this morning on Let's Play Pokemon Blue! Seriously, viewers, I had to literally rush through breakfast to get this recording started. Well, technically, I had breakfast for lunch, but whatever. <laughs> um, last time, viewers, we took down the Fuchsia Gym, got our sixth badge, and we took down the Safari Zone, got some items as well. We didn't exactly take it down, but... Actually, maybe I should close it down, maybe call PETA, because they just... Capturing Pokemon and then throwing them into cages like a zoo. So yeah, maybe I should call Peter. Fuck him. But in any case, I got the Surf HM last time, so now it's time to do some side quests. So yeah, with that, we are on Route 10 to the north of Rock Tunnel. Uh, no big changes to my team since last time either, so we're all set and ready to go. Otherwise than that, though, to get to the first side quest destination, you must have Surf HMO3. So well, there you go, which you can obviously get from the Safari Zone. With that, let's head on to our first side quest destination. There are two specific Pokemon that I, that we can get as part of this side quest that are very rare and you can't find them anywhere else in the game. So, as such, there you go. Otherwise, the net, th there's a trainer down here? Huh. Hey dude, how's it going? Wow, are you a Pokemon? Oh, no! No, I don't want to see your collection! Uh, why did I talk to this guy? Uh, whatever. Yeah, more creepy ass stalker Pokemaniac guys. Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> but in any case, Skull Santos. All right, now viewers, um, substitute first. There you go. Now you want to know the reason why I taught my Pikachu um submission, right? It's for situations like this. See, you saw there. Stop basically absorb or substitute absorb right up right horn stop submission going down Pikachu doesn't have a bad attack stat for that matter either. He's in his base form So, you know there you go. Well, I guess you can whoa Okay, substitute took too many hits. It's it, it's it's over. It's good. It's good. We're good. Goodbye <laughs> But yeah well, technically, you could say Pichu is his base form, but, uh, this is Gen 1. So as such, you know, that wasn't much of a factor. Let's go, Kai! Alright, double edge attack! Lickitung looks actually pretty good in this, in this game, I'll, I'll give it that. It actually looks like a Lickitung, and not like something deformed and shit. Like, go, Bat! Oh, boy. <laughs> Huh. I'm not angry. You're angry. I'm not angry at all. <laughs> no, but yeah, he, he mad. You mad, bro? I have more rare Pokemon at home. Fuck you. Oh, okay, damn. Fuck you then, dickhead. Wow. What the fuck is wrong with these people in the South? Kanto, that is. South Kanto. Are we in, actually went to the? We're in Eastern Kanto. Southeastern Kanto, whatever. In any case, we arrived at the power plant. Or, well, the uh, abandoned power plant, that is. Um, viewers, I recommend having some max repels because the encounter rate in here is really, is such a bitch that if you don't have it, you're going to have a tough time getting through here without shutting off the game, that is. That's what I actually meant to say. Carbos, boost speed by one. That's a siege. Alright, now then, um, for the um, Pokemon list here, we have Raichus that you can encounter, and Pokemon Blue, exclusively. Magnemites are exclusive to Pokemon Red and Blue. We got Magnetons as well, as well as Grimers, Mucks, and Pokemon Yellow, as well as Voltorbs and Pokemon Yellow. Then there's these guys! Pokeballs? No, they're actually Voltorbs. Yes, Voltorbs. Otherwise than that, though, watch out for their self-destructs and or explosions. They're not fun. And of course, since I already have Voltorb and Electro in my Pokedex, I don't need to capture anymore. So, there you go. Now, I don't have a map of the power plant, so I'm kind of going by ear. So, you know, bear with me. I had to literally rush to get this recording started. Because I got out of the shower late. And then we ate breakfast, you know, for lunch and stuff like that. Viewers, I literally had to wrap my omelet inside toes and just... Literally wolf it down and stuff like that. Just to hurry up to start the recording. So I hope you appreciate that. 
No, no, but yeah, uh, um, I literally had to rush to get this started. So, you know, there you go. Is this gonna be a rush job recording? Probably. No, no, uh, uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, viewers, I give you, I give you guys quality shit. So, you know, well, technically my stuff is not shit. I'm just saying, I give you guys quality stuff. So, you know, there you go. Team 25! I think that is Thunder! So, you know, there you go. But, Thunder is incredibly shitty in Gen 1. I mean, it's the strongest electric move in the game, of course. But in Gen 1, we don't have, like, Rain Dance or anything of those weather effect moves. So, as such, you know, yeah, pretty much. I wouldn't bother with it. Thunderbolt is the best one out, out of all the electric moves. And really, we only have, like, a certain number of electric moves in Gen 1. Was it Thundershock, Thunderbolt, Thunder, Thunder Wave? Was I missing any viewers? But yeah, that was technically it for Gen 1. Until they added, um, Spark and Zap Cannon in Gen 2. Which even then, it just, it's just not enough. Don't start till you get enough. Woo! Yeah, pretty much. But, uh, let's not go up there just yet. Oh yeah, that TM33 that we got, that is Reflect, if memory serves. But viewers, you know that my memory is shit, right? So, I think I've I think I told you this multiple times already. But yeah, my memory is shit, but I do remember that. So... In any case, yeah, more Voltorbs. Viewers, get ready for a whole bunch of Voltorb and Electro spam in this place, because they basically, you know, are infesting this power plant. Which, well, obviously, if you play Gen 2, the Gen 2 games, you know that this power plant is not so abandoned at, um, in Gen 2. They actually went and fixed it up. Gen 1, on the other hand, it's abandoned as fuck. It's kind of, it's kind of like a garbage dump, but, you know, full of Pokemon and whatever the fuck this shit is. What is this? Are these rocks? I, I, I don't get it. Whatever. In any case... Um, I might as well use that rare candy. There's no point saving it now. I'll give it to casual. Casual candy? Casual candy. So there you go. <laughs> Alright, um, HP up. Let's give that to... Oh, wait, I already boosted, um, Santos' HP already. Yeah, like I said, I used it, um... <laughs> used it. Give that to Kai. I used, um, a lot of stat-boosting drinks on my Pikachu, as I mentioned yesterday. Because Pikachu, in his base form, um, don't, doesn't have a lot of great defensive stats. And as such, I just wanted to work on it. Pikachu was the only one I really used those stat boosting drinks on. So, you know, I, I have no intention of using on the others because, you know, there's no need for that. There's no point! But in any case, because my... Oh! Yup, now we got electrodes. That face, though. Otherwise than that, though. <laughs> oh! Oh, shit, I can't escape! Oh, there... Yeah, I was about to say! Fuck! <laughs> Actually, wait a minute. Before I continue on, um, let me put Fanton in the lead. There you go. For reasons you're going to see why in like, well, a minute. Probably less. Um, now I, I think I did miss a couple treasures. Uh, did I get it? Let me see. No, no, I didn't get it. Oh, uh, there's a, a there's a PP up and a Max Elixir. I think those two items down there, but I'm not wasting time getting those because, well, I don't need them. Otherwise, the Nando, what's this bird doing here? Oh, you know what? Let me save my game. <laughs> yeah, let's let's do that first. Which I recommend you do too, viewers, because... Garouche! It's time for a legendary boss fight versus Zapdos! Yes, Zapdos, you heard me right. The first of three legendary birds. Now, this guy, um, thunder, or rather, light, or uh, electric type. I was about to say thunder, thunder type. No, 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 this isn't Yu-Gi-Oh. Whoa! Wow, Fitz, take that shit! Damn, dude! Nice. Nice. Wow, bruh. Wow. He take that drum back! Damn! Is that those is at a higher level? Ow! Quit it. What well, that's thunder shock? Get that? Yeah, that shouldn't finish me. Yeah, go back to sleep, bitch. All right, now then, let's go and get a um psychic off. 
I would use Mega Drain, but obviously Zandos is flying slash electric, or electric slash flying, so obviously it's not going to really matter much anyway. Yeah, lower that special stat, and then let's switch out to... Let's go to Kai. There we go. I mean, that, it, well, then again, that probably is a bad choice, because Zandos is electric type, so one Thunderbolt, but, you know. I mean, maybe not. It, it could be good. Try attack! Try beam! Ha! No, no, that's not a try beam. There you go. Drill pack? You could just use thunder. Oh! Okay, never mind. Never mind. I, I, I guess you had it. I guess. Wow. Dick. Oh well. Set those. That is. Sorry about that, Kai. Let me get you up, buddy. Yeah, Zapdos is not a bitch. Trust me on that. <laughs> Alright, now, I wanted to put him to sleep, but it doesn't look like it's going to be happening today. So, let's go for a substitute. There you go. Zapdos is practically my new tank now. <laughs> yeah, that's my man. Tank's dead. Tank it. Thunder wave. Nice. Since it keeps waking the fuck up so much, you might as well just put it- You might as well just put the bitch to sleep. Under- Or, uh, shock it. Paralyze it! Under bolt! Don't kill it! Yes! Thank you! Ow! Quit it. Alright, so since you broke, you might want to switch out now. <laughs> Alright, um... Wow. Ah, perfect! Since casual is ground type, Zandos is Thundershock won't even matter anyway. I think Zandos has Thunder Wave too, so be careful. Alright, now we gotta paralyze the red zone. At this point, you might as well start chucking Ultra Balls. Ultra Ball, go! Really, dude? Really? Are you. Are you fucking with me right here? It's Marowak all over again! Well, then again, Marowak was dead, so I guess it wouldn't have mattered. <sighs> go in my ball! Oh shit, I got it! <laughs> wow, that was like fast forward to do that shit. Viewers, the power of rage. The power of rage. Zapdos, a legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear from clouds while dropping enormous lightning bolts. Awesome. Cool, but I'm not using it. I'm just getting it to add to my collection. Uh, viewers, if you're new to my, um, to my channel and Pokemon game LPs on my channel in general, I don't like using um, legendary Pokemon, because their stats are just too overpowered. So I like, I like using Pokemon that I raised from scratch. So, you know, there you go. That's just me, though. That's just my own personal challenge. Otherwise than that, though, well, I guess you wouldn't call it a challenge. I mean, a le using legendary isn't that much of a thing, but whatever. Otherwise than that, though, viewers, um, there is one more side quest I want to do for today. And that is at the Seafoam Islands. That is to the southwest of... Wait. Yeah, southwest of Fuchsia City. So, I'm gonna heal up real quick at Fuchsia, and I'll meet you back there. Be right back. Alrighty, viewers, I'm back. We are back in Fuchsia City. My team is all healed up and ready to go. Whoo, that was a wrecking battle. But, you know, there you go. Now, in order to get to the Seafoam Islands, which is to the southwest of Fuchsia, you could go south from Pallet Town. Um, our next main destination for the plot is Cinnabar Island to get our 7th badge, but we're not going there, but you'll be passing Cinnabar Island along the way to get to Seafoam, but the easiest way to get to the next Legendary is to just go south from Fuchsia. That's just how I like to do it. So, you know, there you go. Yeah, I had a feeling I couldn't avoid not one of them. Have to warm up before my swim. So, battling is how you warm up? Okay, dude. Okay. Good for you. But in any case, yeah, we got swimmer trainers. Let me guess, is Misty swimming around here too? No, no, no. But I think, now that I now that I think about it, in Pokemon Fire, Red, and Leaf Green, one of these trainers around here says that, oh, the gym leader, um, Cerulean gym leader Misty likes va vacationing or something or, or whatever around here. At least I think that's what they say. It's either that or Heartgold and Soul Silver. It's one of them. But yeah, a lot of the Pokemon around here, this is Sea Route 19, by the way. I call it Sea Root because, well, surfing. So, yeah. Surfing's actually a thing, viewers. If you not know that, you know now. So, there you go. All warmed up! 
Even though my Pokemon have basically got their asses kicked, but I'm all warmed up though. So that's all that matters. Ride that surf, Terashi. There you go. Alright, now then. Oh god, I love the surfing music so much. Alright, now, route C Route 19. If you have the super rod, you can catch some tentacruels here. Shelders, horses, Godin, Star You, all the good shit. Meaning all the good water Pokemon in the game. So, you know. Whoa! Oh girl, I forgot to put on my repel. Damn. And yeah, as you saw, there's tentacles here too, but who cares? You can jellyfish. Tentacle is actually pretty good though. Or rather, tentacruel, I should say. That is, if you're into tentacle hentai porn. <laughs> so, there you go, there's that. But in, uh, in all seriousness, tentacruel is actually a pretty good water type. Um, water slash poison, by the way. So, just keep it away from ground and psychic types and you're good to go. But then again, if, you're fat, if your tentacruel has a good speed stat, you can just bubble beam the ground type and kick his ass before he even gets in a dig. And or earthquake. In the case, we, we made it viewers, Seafoam Islands. Now then, prepare yourselves for... Uh, one of the most annoying optional dungeons in the game. Go! Alright, now, Seafoam Islands. Let's take a look at my map real quick. Oh yeah, viewers, there's a lot of sea trainers up in this, um, uh, up in those routes. I'm glad I actually skipped them. But yeah, um, in this cave here, you can find Golbats, Zubats, um, Psyduck is exclusive to Pokemon Red. Did I use it? There you go. Um, S Golduck is exclusive to Pokemon Red. Same with Slowpoke. Um, Slowbro is exclusive to Pokemon Blue. Same with, um... No, actually, um, Slowpoke is in Pokemon Red and Blue. Sorry about that, viewers. Got that misconstrued. This is also another dungeon in which I'm not using a map. So if I go a little bit slowly, um, that's the reason why. So, there you go. Now, viewers, um, you see those little black squares in the ground there? Those are actually important because... Whee! Whee! Yeah! Oh, uh-oh. What the hell? I can't move! Yeah, pretty much that. Yeah, you see there? Um, if you fall down all those holes, you'll be, you know, in something like a fast current or something. Wow, thank you! Thank you for the warning! Like, as soon as I fall down in the pit. Yeah, that's very nice timing, game. Nice. Nice, dude. Nice. But, well, yeah, um, the fast current here is really fierce. As such, you won't be able to get through here without pushing some shit in the water. So, as such, yeah, there we go. I was about to mention them. But, yeah, as such, we need to find some boulders as well. I think there's a hidden item over here. Ha-ha! I played this game so many times as a kid, I cannot believe that I have not forgotten that. It's just like that hidden item um, near Rock Tunnel. There are just some things that you just cannot forget. So, you know, yeah. Show me your strength, Siege. There you go. But yeah, we gotta push these boulders into the holes. Literally push them in. Push them all in. Get in my hole! Uh, uh. Get in the hole. There you go. Get in there! Yeah, get deep in there, bitch. Deep. Deep. Undercut. <laughs> Push that bitch in. There you go. Whee! Was that enough? Ha ha! It was enough. Nice. And with that, we get... Really, dude? We get access to the other legendary bird here. Just like before, save, die, game. Now, I would use Phantom here at the start. But then, actually, I, well, you know what? I could, couldn't I? But then again, you know, well, it's better to show you than to tell you. How's it going, dude? Garoosh! So it's time for a legendary boss fight! Versus Articuno! Oh, sexy as ever, no matter what game you're in. But yeah, Articuno! Um, ice slash flying type. Ice, ice, baby. But yeah, um, Articuno is very, very sexy. Sexy ass bird! But he likes spamming Ice Beam. A lot. So, substitute! It's either Ice Beam or Roar Beam. I forget which one, but I think it is Ice Beam. 
He is not that effective, so don't bother, buddy. Thunder, thunder, I was about to say Thunder um, Bolt, but no, Thunder Wave first. Alright, now, I'm going to use Thunder Bolt. And I hope to Arceus that this does not kill Articuno in like one hit. But then again, he's like four levels above me, so... Meh. Thunder Bolt! Don't die. Oh, good, good. Shit, 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 no! Fuck! Yeah, I knew that, I knew it! It's all like, <laughs> you thought that was gonna finish me? Bitch, please. Please. Why did I switch the Phantom? Damn, I, my, my whole strategy is fucking apart now! <laughs> it's the Zethos all over again. But it's all good, he, he's paralyzed, he's paralyzed, it's all good. Psycho goodness! Ah! Can I lower special? No. No. I mean, if. Oh! No, no, no. Ooh! Bitch, and you are such a tank, dude! He tanked a drum pack and that pack. Damn! My team is awesome. Fuck you, haters out there that don't like my team. <laughs> fuck you all. My team is awesome. Don't like it, go fuck yourselves. But I love my team. Ice Baby's not going to do much against Siege, though, though it might come off as normal damage. Oh! Wow! Okay, never mind what I just said! I gotta find a way to slow him the fuck down. Why the fuck didn't I think of this sooner? I'm going to just use Terrace to tank the Ice Beams. Wow, I am so dumb. Alright, um, let's get Zetos, or Sentos back up. I need to weaken him further. Because it's not enough. So, how about this? Bubble Beam! Don't die! Woo, good, good, okay. Sorry for shouting, viewers, I just get overly hyped up for, with this shit. Now, Ultra Ball, go! Uh, dude! Are you serious again? Okay, fuck you! Damn it! Huh. But it's at times like these that I'm glad I got that full restore from the um Safari Zone. <laughs> Hurry up. There you go. Alright, let's try this again. Fast um fast forward, Ultra Ball Spam! Yes! Woohoo! Oh uh, uh, uh Ultros. <laughs> uh sorry viewers, that I'm thinking of another game. Articuno, get to those A! Nice. In any case, Articuno, the freeze Pokemon, a legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear doom to doom people who are lost in icy mountains. Cool. That bird is so sexy. So, there you go. Wow. That was stressful. That was literally a boss fight. He all... Damn. But worked while catches. Viewers, we got two out of the three legendary Kanto birds. There's just one more to go, but unfortunately, we won't be able to get it to like near the end of the game. So, very soon, practically. This game is not this game is not long. So, <laughs> viewers, I predict we'll be at the end of the LP probably by next Friday, if my prediction is up or holds true. Then, so we'll see. Viewers, now that we got Zapdos and Articuno under our belts, or I guess under our Pokeball belts, that is, <laughs> it's time to head to our next destination, um, Cinnabar Island. I will meet you guys back in Pallet Town to head to surf down there. Next time! If you guys enjoy, you know what to do, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more gaming vids from me. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say, don't you? Leave a comment. Till next time, do to do that. It's Mike from Race Break Gaming, and I hope your race breaks. Have a great day. I see you later.